Hey everybody, it's me Dave coming to you live from my basement. Uh, I want to show everybody my hydroponic systems that I've got set up down here. Or a couple of them set up, uh, one in progress. Um, just recently relocated this from another address. So the plants are um, looking a little peaked, but they should come back fine. They don't really like being moved in sub-freezing weather, but uh, I think they'll be okay. We'll come back in a week or two to take a look at how they've progressed. But um, this system over here against this wall is a four inch PVC system with about 35 separate spaces. Uh, I've got 12 ounce um, plastic cups and all tomatoes growing in this system. And tomatoes are doing very very well they're not supposed to be easy easily grown indoors but they tend these are doing better than just about anything else that I've tried to grow um, we've got some cherry tomatoes in here we've got some Everglade tomatoes and what they do is these cups they hang down into the water and the roots will eventually grow out and suck up the liquid nutrients I originally plant, grew these from seed in this rock wool, and this is probably about three weeks growth. Not too bad. And it's pumped up through this smaller PVC, and just the flow of water goes through this little tube here right down into the system, and it continuously flows 24 hours a day. And I burn the lights about 16 hours a day. Seems to be working out pretty well. These are just some typical Walmart light fixtures that you pay 10 bucks a piece for and about another seven or eight dollars per bulb. They're grow lights for aquariums or plants, but they seem to be doing a pretty good job. These two down here I've put up here temporarily. It's a couple that I fabricated out of a uh, concrete form. It's a circular form for, it's called a sono tube actually, but I took some spray glue and glued some foil to the bottom of it or the inside of it and then attached the lights to the inside of that and they make a pretty dandy reflector. Plants seem to like it. But this system in particular is its about 12 feet long um, and I've custom fabricated some salt horses for it to sit on and we've got about a 25 gallon or 20 gallon nutrient tank here that uh, has a fountain pump in it. It's about 350 gallons per hour. But it is uh, it is regulated uh, down just a little bit because that's a bit that's a little bit overkill. But uh, it does it does work out fine. The system in the center here looks a bit like a refinery, but uh, we're down one size to three inch PVC. And there is, I believe, 144 planting spaces in this system. And up top here, we've got some more tomatoes growing. And they're doing pretty well, too. They came back from the move pretty good. And I've got a total of eight light fixtures supplying light to these guys. We've got some lettuces that are growing down here. Lettuce teams tends to do pretty good in these systems. These are hydrogen pellets that give the plants support. It's a pH neutral grow medium, typically used in a lot of hydroponic systems. These cups are, I believe, six ounce cups. And like these over here, I've taken a soldering iron and just melted holes in there so the water has some place to go into the wrist will eventually come out of the bottom but we'll get back to that um, a little later on and show how the roots have developed and they just well eventually they'll just hang down in this water in this nutrient solution and soak up whatever food they need and back here we've got some chives that are growing some basil some cilantro cilantro looks like it took about the biggest hit but as I say we'll come back in a week or so and see just how things have progressed
Some of these tomato varieties over here are we've got some gills all purpose. We've got some cherry tomatoes. This is Everglades tomato, some a variety that I grew when I was living down in Florida that just reached incredible heights, 17, 20 feet in an aquaponic system that I had set up down there. And they were, without a doubt, the best tasting tomato I've ever tasted in my life. I'd never even heard of them before until I started growing them. And they're about the size of a marble. It's as big as they get, but they're just, just unbelievable flavor. So if you get a chance to order some seeds and try them yourself, uh, you won't be disappointed, I guarantee it. Anyway, you can see the feed assembly on this two-tiered system. And of course I've got a uh, flow regulator there because the water tends to want to go down a lot easier than it goes up, so you've got to kind of balance it out. But this is all put together in about the space of, uh, you know, your average garage. And probably grow, grow a lot more food than I'll ever be able to eat, but uh, so far so good. Here's a system that's a work in progress. Let's go back to here for a second. The nutrient tank for this two-tiered system. And it's got a, uh, an air stone in there that creates a, that oxygenates the water for the roots. It bubbles all the time. And of course another fountain pump down there. Runs 24 hours a day recirculating. Back to this system, this is a two inch uh, ABS. And it's got I think 142 spaces. Still don't have any lights or a pump hooked up to it yet, but uh, it is getting there. It's uh, what I hope to plant strawberries in. It would be absolutely perfect for strawberries. I have another vertical system that I'll show a little bit later on but these take little four ounce cups tiny little ones and strawberries should just do perfect in here these little bitty cups here and what I'll probably do is just plant the strawberry seed raise it out of that rock wool and just stick it right in the cups without any of that hydrogen pellets or any of these guys it probably won't be necessary but they should do real well. It'll be interesting to see how that works out. And of course there's the feed system. And uh, my dog Petey, he's the guardian of the plant sanctuary down here. And down here we've got a few things that we've started, little seedlings. We've got some spinach. Still, of course, recovering from that move. I don't recommend that, but they should be okay in a, in a few days. Got a whole tray of cilantro that we planted in some dirt and some perlite mix that have come up. They're a bit leggy because I think of the shallowness of these trays. Some trays that I got in an auction. I knew I'd, I was hoping they'd be of some use someday and they turned out to work out pretty well for this stuff. But got see spinach and romaine lettuce growing over there. That is some broadleaf sage which uh, as soon as I see some roots coming out of the bottom I'll be transplanting that into the system. So I do have a lot of empty spaces here. Got plenty of room for it. And there's the board to help me remind, remind me when I need to change the nutrient. Typically you change it every couple of weeks. Give them a new fresh food source. But just testing out my new camera, I was getting a little tired of just taking still photographs, so uh, we'll upload this to YouTube and uh, we'll see you there and we'll see you in a week or so.